What's going on YouTube? Zero Lead here, and I'm back again with a new video, episode 68 of the Disco Era USS Enterprise tutorial. I just want to thank you very much for tuning into today's episode, and if you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button in helping me and supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And today we got about a 32 minute video, and we're going to be covering a Quite a few things today. We're going to be slightly uh, reworking the entrance to our engineering, and uh, we're going to build out the floor one and two for our cargo room. Uh, floor two of the cargo room will be a uh, cargo room slash cargo transport room. And uh, yeah, we're going to hop right into it. So you can see I'm in main deck of our. Um, engineering and now we're standing in the hallway that connects uh, both engineering with the shuttle bay and basically what i don't like is kind of like this gap right here like it looks nice but what i want to do is extend out this hallway um, as much as we can so we're going to be extending it about three blocks out i believe so we're going to get rid of this old archway we're going to build a new one Building it so that there's a lip going around the door. And then we're going to get rid of dark gray and red pillar. But make sure you leave the um, pillar that the dark gray pillar that's after the red. Leave this one there. We need that. All right, perfect. So we're just going to continue on the same pattern that we have for our hallways with light gray on top and then red in the middle. Pretty simple. But I think this will, uh, it'll lengthen out the hallway just a little bit, help give uh, the ship just a little bit more scale. Um, I think that that looks a lot better than what we had before. Now we just got to clean up the roof and then we're going to move on to. Uh, The, <clears throat> we're going to move on to the next deck and then engineering in just a moment. So what I'm going to do here, you can see like, kind of like on this row right here where the dark gray is, there's like the light gray on the top and bottom. Um, I want to keep that pattern going right here because I feel like that's missing in this entryway. Even though that top row blends in with the other blocks around, I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think it looks better this way than how I had it before. I think that looks really good. I'm going to get rid of that sea lantern on the bottom. I can leave the one on top. And I don't think we're going to have to do anything else right here. I think this looks uh, pretty good as is. Just really a minor tweak that we had to make to the entryway. I need another light right here in the middle. Could maybe even get rid of the light at the bottom. See lantern, but we don't have to. We're going to move on to the second deck of engineering here in just a moment. I'm going to pop up here into the saucer section. Oh, I didn't go high enough. Because I want to check out the hallways and how I did it up here just to compare it to how I have it in the bottom. As you see, up here in the saucer section, I have my lighting up in the roof, at least in the main corridor. But I don't think we're going to change anything else on that. We're going to hop into the second part of this, and we're going to go into the lower airlock on our ship, which will bring us into the second floor of engineering. And we're just really going to build out this walkway just a little bit. This line that we had already started a couple of videos ago, we're just going to fill that in. We're going to do the same thing on both sides. I 
I don't know if we're going to finish this room today. Uh, we're going to make a couple of changes to it. Uh, nothing too drastic. Uh, kind of what we have is what we're going to be working with for the most part. Other than putting like some railing up. <clears throat> excuse me. Other than putting some railing up like we're going to do right now with the white concrete. Just going along the lip. Don't want to build it on it. any of the dark gray. And we'll stop right at the cut. The same thing on both sides. And then we're just going to repeat the same process on this side. Because, I mean, we could fill, uh, we don't really want to fill in too much uh, on the other side of this wall, on this uh, one block high wall that we just put up, because we want to showcase this warp core on this level as much as possible. Um, but. The sacrifice that we're going to have to make with that is that this area up here is pretty much going to be a glorified, uh, glorified viewing area for the warp core. We're just going to move those sea lanterns down to the ground. Well, in the floor, I should say. And I was thinking of doing like half slabs going along here. Maybe I can do like consoles on the side. Give the impression that they're there. Or just get some detail in the wall. Um, we have enough room to do it between the half slabs and the one high um, of white concrete. You'd still be able to walk through it with no problems without either hitting each side of it. And also without it feeling too um, close together. I think uh, anything more than this, we wouldn't be able to make it, but it's got a two wide gap, so I think that will work. On each side of the roof here, going along where the red is, we're just going to do a line of white concrete. We're going to do the same thing on both sides. What we could actually do in this room to give a little bit more detail, and we're not going to do it in this video, um, but just uh, going over this now, I'm thinking that uh, along the roof here we can do some ribbing um, to really you know try to emphasize you know that the ship has a structure to it um, and we have the space on this deck that we can do something like that i think so i'm going to pop back in here on my next recording session i think and add that in i think that'll look pretty good Then we can do now half slabs going along that line of white concrete. Do the same thing on both sides, just to so it doesn't have such a um, high cut on it. That kind of angles it out a little bit better, I think. Yeah, I don't know if we can do full high slab, but. Uh, we can do definitely half slabs going along the roof, and I think that would work out pretty good. And like space them out so it has like a, a ribbing effect on it. And we're going to take off that corner. We're going to fill in the ground right or the floor right here. We're going to do the same thing on both sides just so that. Angle there isn't so steep. I think that looks a little bit better. And we could maybe, we have a little bit of room on each side of the turbo lift on that deck. We could maybe do something on each side, like a console or something. I don't know. But now we're down to the engineering deck three. And we're just going to fill in the walls here just to make it completely flat going along the side. We could leave it as it is. Um, and I don't think it would look bad, but um, over the times that I've been down here, that just kind of stuck out to me. I was like, you know, I want to kind of flatten that out a little bit. I think it'll look just a little bit better just um, doing that subtle change. And then we have a lip along the top here on the sides. And we're going to fill that in with a half slab on each side just to give it a little bit of shape to the walls. But it looks a little, lot cleaner than what we had before. 
and it doesn't take any size away from the ship, or at least the this room uh, is what I'm getting at. It's a nice little detail that we can do. It's a little dark in here. I'm going to have to come back and add in a few more sea lanterns. So if it's too dark, I apologize for that. I've been pretty good about getting uh, enough lighting in here. Ooh, I like that. And doing the half slabs going along the doorway. But stopping right with a cut of the other half slabs. All right, so we're going to go back up to our main engineering deck. And now we're going to make our way to the turbo lift that either goes up to the shuttle bay control room. We're going to be going down one. And now we're in the cargo rooms, or the cargo areas. This will be cargo room one, or well, floor one, and then below it will be floor two. Floor two is also going to double as the cargo transport room. Um, I don't know for certain if the Enterprise A had one, but I know for a fact that the Enterprise D did. And granted, that ship was like built 78 years later, but, you know, again, this is going to be one of uh, those instances where when you're building the interiors of these ships, you're only going to have really so many references to go off of. And um, they really don't spend a heck of a lot of time showing the cargo room on the Enterprise. I think the only time that they did really was in the motion picture, and they made it uh, huge. And I just, I saw that, and I was like, you know, I'm not certain I really want to do that. I kind of want to go a different way, scale it back a little bit. So this is kind of, you know... Uh, with adding in the transporter room, I'm kind of you know referencing TNG a little bit, but I don't think um, I don't think anybody will have a problem with. It. I think it's you know it'll it fits uh, and it makes sense having it on the ship. That if you have a transporter room, it would make sense that you transport stuff onto your ship rather than just having everything coming through cargo on your shuttle bay or the shuttle. So that's kind of the logic behind that, and. Uh, I think it comes out pretty good, and the, the screenshot that uh, you see on this video when you clicked on it, that's actually of uh, the finished uh, transport, slash, transport room slash cargo room, and uh, I was pretty happy with how it came out, but these rooms aren't super big, don't spend a ton of time on them, but um, just trying to get a little bit of detail in here, just to emphasize what it is. And also try to make it look cool as much as I can. But it might be something, either room, um, I might actually come back to them because I'm not set on them. Um, I'd say these two rooms and then the two engineering decks that we were just in, the deck two and three, I might come back into those. Um, and then we also have to do the very bottom engineering deck and finish that. But that's going to be in the next two episodes we'll do that one. But... Uh, other than that, like every other room that I've done on the ship, uh, I've pretty much I've set on. I've already completed uh, crew quarters or general crew quarters. I've already completed uh, the torpedo room. So that's going to be coming up in the next couple of videos, I think, this week. So that'll be pretty cool. But if uh, for whatever reason you're watching this, you have any ideas, be sure to drop a comment below. I definitely, you know, I always read the comments section. And uh, a lot of your ideas, you know, I definitely take them into consideration. A lot of your ideas are actually very good ideas. Sometimes I end up incorporating them into the ship if I'm still working on that area. If I decide that um, it's an idea that I really like, I might end up going back and, you know, incorporating it into the ship. So if anything you want to see, definitely drop a comment. Or if I'm not being specific enough during this tutorial, um, or if you get stuck, be sure to drop a comment below. Usually pretty responsive in the comment section. I'll try to help you out. But I think what we have going on here, you can see obviously I'm not uh, calling out you know exact pr uh, angles and whatnot. But I think for what we're doing right now, uh, if you've been building along with me, I don't think this is... Uh, these por uh, this portions of the in interior, we really don't have to call them out exactly block by block how many I'm putting down. Because I'm doing it... Um, not super slow, but it's slow enough to where you should be able to follow along with no problem. And uh, this thing is, we're definitely rocking. We got one more deck to work on before we're going to wrap up this episode. And we have a little bit more uh, detail to do in this room before we're going to move on. 
we're going to build out the rest of our doorway here. I don't know why I deleted that wall. So I actually have to bring that over just one. <clears throat> so we're going to have to delete that so it's not showing on the other side because that's actually in the, one of the engineering decks. I think that's deck two. There we go. Now we're looking good. I want to make sure to continue with our pattern. The dark gray concrete. And then along the floor, white concrete. Looking good. Could maybe fill in that wall there. And we're going to uh, put a couple of boxes up here to kind of emphasize that this is a cargo room, but we're not going to put a ton of a uh, ton of boxes because this is, you know, um, just uh, in this particular area of the ship is just kind of meant to give you an idea of what you can do. But, you know, if this is something that you're doing on your build and you're intending to full on make this your cargo area, kind of the area that I have setting up here, you'll definitely be able to um, add in additional storage bins and whatever you need to do to uh, make this ship livable. So that'll be pretty cool. So we're going to fill in a couple of these blocks. We're going to do the top row along here. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Because again, these cuts, I mean, it looks pretty on the inside of the ship, but um, don't need to necessarily be constricted to them. We can fill them in a little bit to make this room just look a little bit uh, cleaner is what we're going for because you're not really going to see um, on this era of the Enterprise, um, you're not going to see a heck of a lot of, you know, um, attractive lines on it to this to this degree. That was one thing I didn't necessarily, you know, agree with. A lot of the stuff that the decisions that they made on both the interior and the exterior of the JJ Enterprise. But I'm not trying to hate on it. I do still like that ship. It's just not at the end of the day if i had to compare it to the other ones or at least the other versions of the constitution enterprise there was a couple that i like a little bit more um believe it or not like i'm not crazy about discovery either but their era enterprise has grown on me um it's really grown on me actually and i'm really looking forward to uh that show that's going to ready to come out strange new worlds i think that's going to be pretty good so you can see now we're just kind of Filling in our top row here to make it match up with the bottom. Maybe we can do half slabs going along the floor here. That might not look too bad. And what you could do too, in between here, this gap I have going along here, you can actually put your storage bins if you wanted to. That's definitely an option. You can see him doing like these uh, pillars going along the top, like uh, ribbing, but um, kind of what I'm making right here is actually tubing. Um, I'm going to do the red and yellow tubing. I'll get rid of these dark gray pillars that I just added in. Because still, this is like a lower deck. It's near engineering, so I kind of figured that there should be some kind of pipes maybe sticking out somewhere. Um, and this could, this is more than likely going to be something that I'm going to add into the other decks of engineering that we were just in at the beginning of the episode somewhere. Um, maybe not in the same pattern going along the roof, but definitely want to keep that going. So we're going to fill in this wall a little bit. I think that looks a little bit better than what we had. We can kind of taper that off with half slabs. Maybe in between each gap, we can do the same thing. I think that looks pretty good.
We have a little bit of time left. We have about 13 minutes, and we've already gone through 19, so we're definitely jamming. And I think this is, uh, all in all, this is a not a super big room, but for the purpose of it being a cargo room, uh, I think this is big enough. I think this is more than big enough. All right, now we're going to hop into the final part of our capture. I think we're going to do one or two more things in this room, and then we're going to move into the cargo uh, room, deck two slash uh, transporter room. So we're going to close off this wall right here. If you want to leave this open, you can and use the space. Um, for what I'm going to be using in this video, um, not really going to be using any more space than what we have right here so that was kind of my decision just closing off that wall right there if i don't need it i don't want to necessarily be a slave to it so i'm just going to close it off out of sight out of mind um, especially when you're showing off this build nobody's going to know that's there unless you point it out or unless they go and start deleting walls um, but at the end of the day you know it doesn't have to be a perfect um one in one scale with the ship and line what they have on the interior because again there is no interior uh, schematics for this enterprise they have them for the older ones but still um my personal opinion on those and i've downloaded quite a few of them on minecraft on pc and uh i'm just not uh, overly fond of them i gotta be honest because they end up having uh, endless decks of either uh empty rooms or it just doesn't match up with what you see when you're walking through the ship as opposed to like the TV shows or whatever, you know, exact reference that they're using. Now, you could make the argument that in my case, well, yours isn't exact either, which would kind of be true. But I kind of feel like the overall feel of the ship and on the interior, it's probably about as close as I think that we could get. Because um, at the end of the day, like if you've watched any of the movies and shows they kind of like the rooms like how they're set it up set up floor uh each section like whether it's engineering or the bridge like you can kind of like gauge somewhat of like a blueprint in your head on what the ship looks like on the inside and where some of the stuff is at maybe some of the time so that's kind of like where i'm at on that but i think uh all in all this isn't coming out too bad so i'm just kind of filling in the rest of the floor here And we have a little bit of a gap underneath us, but we don't have enough to where we can do a full deck without it sticking out or without it being a short one is what I'm trying to say. So that's kind of why I just made the decision. You know what? We're just going to stop at this level and we're not going to build anything further down. Which again, it's okay. I don't think we need to. Because I think uh, the only thing that this um, ship is actually missing is the terrarium. But I'm not certain that the TOS Enterprise had one. I know that the uh, refit had one from the movies, but I don't think that the original Enterprise had one. Pretty sure it didn't. So I was just kind of like, you know what? I'm just going to use that space for engineering and make it a little bit little bit grander than what it was on my enterprise a so i don't think it actually um we will be missing it because at the end of the day i wasn't trying to make a carbon copy of the previous enterprises that i've made in the past i really wanted to try to do something different on this interior try a couple of new things build it in a somewhat different way but the overall feel of uh, the layout of the ship um uh, deck to deck is very similar. You can see I'm just uh, kind of shaving out a couple of blocks here and there in the floor. I'm going along the back wall. 
and then building out by four. And this is going to be our transporter pad. Well, the space anyway. So we can't build any further back. That needs to be there. So what we'll do is we'll just take out one more from this side. Because we don't want to make the pad too small. And we don't want to make it too big. I think five by three should be more than enough. And then we can grab the light sensors. Where are they? I think they're towards the bottom. No. Up oh, there they are. Daylight sensor. I actually really like the daylight sensor because when you put it down, it does look just like an old school transporter pad. And you can do a different pattern going along the edge if you wanted to. Maybe we'll just take off the corners here. That looks pretty good. I think if somebody walked in this room, just as it is right now, I don't think there would be any question. I think they'd be like, oh, that's a really big transporter pad. And these pillars I'm building up, we're not going to keep these. I'm just going to be doing a little bit of detailing in our roof here. This is just the easy way of doing it without having to exactly eyeball it. There's a little bit of extra work adding in these uh, extra pillars, but we'll take them out when, we're, when I'm done. And the middle ones, we could probably replace that with sea lanterns. I think that's going to be the best bet. And we're not going to build like a half circle going along the back of it like our other transporter pad. Um, we're going to rework the back wall here a little bit, but I really wanted this transporter pad to feel a little bit opened um, as opposed to the other one. Because again, you know, this is for cargo. So I feel like you want something to where it feels like if you had like a big, a big item to transport, you'd have the room to do it. Or just cut in on the sides, on the corners. Back wall, the back side, white concrete might be better instead of the dark gray that I just did. Now we're going to get a lot done uh, by the end of this episode, but we're not going to finish up everything for uh, this room by the end of it. Uh, we're going to have to go into a second part on this one, but we will finish up this room, and then we've got a bunch of other things to work on. But if there's any other parts on the interior, any other rooms that you would like to see me add, be sure to drop a comment below while I'm still working on this ship. Um, if it's something that you know I could get into adding on, uh, that I can get passion on, I'll definitely, uh, definitely add it, because I have a little bit of extra room on the interior, and I want to fill that in. But once I move on to my next build, I'm probably not going to be coming back to the Disco Era Enterprise. Because once we're done with the interior, um, I'm going to do one last video on it to do a showcase. We'll, I'll actually do a tour of the interior of the ship, and we'll go room by room, deck to deck, whole thing. And then after that, I'm going to move on to the next build. <clears throat> and I've got a pretty solid idea of what my next ship is going to be. Um, but I still I don't want to say exactly what I'm doing 100% until 
I actually start building it, but I know for certain that I'm building Enterprise D, Voyager, and the USS Cerritos from Star Trek Lower Decks. That's going to be a very fun and challenging build to do in its own right. More than, I do know this, more than likely the Cerritos is probably going to happen before the Enterprise D because um, they have similar parts on them. But I feel like the Cerritos will be a little bit easier because one of the hardest parts on the Enterprise D is going to be the neck because it kind of has like that Cobra neck on it. And that's going to be um, interesting to get that right. But I think that we can, I think I can do it. Um, I think I'll be able to come up with a pattern that works. If I don't get it on the first attempt, I'll just try it again until I come up with something that works. But we'll get there. I learned, uh, if I learned anything from doing, uh, ship builds on here is that if you're not satisfied with something try it again because you know i probably rebuilt my original 2009 enterprise about four or five times before i probably settled on something i was happy with um and it was by doing that that i really learned how to build ships on here and then i everything i learned from doing that i applied that to the vengeance <clears throat> and the vengeance uh, to this day that was probably one of the hardest builds that i've done but it came out fantastic. I mean, that thing had some lines on it that was pretty difficult to pull off, but I was able to do it in a way that it came out pretty cool. Um, now, if I ever, if I built a ship like that today, do I think they would look exactly the same? No, I think there would be some things I do different on it. But I don't know if I'm going to, I don't think I'll be going back to the Vengeance or any other ship that I've previously done for quite some time. I want to focus on new ships that I haven't built yet. And it doesn't have to be just uh, Star Trek. It can be anything nerd related. Uh, as you can see on my Starship Evo builds, uh, I try to do something new every single week. Uh, I'm not at that point where I can do that on Minecraft right now because of the length of uh, time that these tutorials take. I mean, it's quite a bit of work to, to do it. And I'm trying to push these videos out in a way that... Um, it's not going to take six months just to complete this build because I would like to have other ships I would like to work on in Minecraft also. But at the same time, I don't want to rush this build. I want to still take my time to a point where it comes out great because that's really the goal here. I want to, I really want to come up with a nice, clean build, both interior and exterior. Uh, exterior. And that just takes time. But I think what we have going on here so far, I think this looks great. Um, I'm going to add in a couple of these sea lanterns in the floor to match up what I had on the left, but I think that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. I think there's going to be one last thing that I do going on the back wall here, and then that's going to, that's going to be it for today. Maybe we can do the light gray in between those. That doesn't look too bad. That looks pretty good. Got a little pixelated there for a second, but I think that looks great. You can always replace these with uh, cargo boxes if you wanted to. So this way you could also have cargo boxes in your transporter room. But we're not quite done yet. We have just a little bit more work to do before we're going to call this room a done deal. But we'll be uh, panning right back into this tomorrow. But I think that's going to wrap up episode 68. I just want to thank you again for tuning into today's video. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed doing this series. And if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button helping me and supporting the channel. I can't thank you enough for that. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow for episode 69. And in fact, you can always catch new Minecraft episodes Tuesdays through Fridays. And don't forget to catch my new Starship Evo builds on Mondays. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for me. I just want to thank you again. I hope everybody has a happy and safe week. And I will catch you on the next video.